What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and this is day two of mini season. Blue Gate filmed a episode yesterday and I'm on day two. So right now I'm in the boat. Gabe in front of me about 12 feet and he's checking out this spot. It's absolutely crazy out here. Um, this is actually my first mini season. It's super windy. Fortunately, it's not raining. We got Jake in the back, Luke up here, and our friend Marcy in front of the boat. And Gabe is in the water right now, so I'm just trying to keep an eye on him. So far, he just pulled up three keeper lobster within 10 minutes. And we got out here late. A lot of people wake up at like 6 a.m. and get out there first. But um, it's pushing noon right now, and we just got out here, so in front of us there's at least 500 boats that just shows you how crazy mini season is which i don't blame them because this is my first mini season and there's a lot of lobster out here Catch this other one.
So the water is definitely a little warmer than yesterday. I just had to switch my wetsuit. I had a 1.5 mil on, so a little chilly yesterday, but I was overheating down there. So I'm just putting a skin on. The reasoning I'm putting a skin on is because sometimes, depending on where you're at, if there's a big coral head or a ledge, like your arms get under there to tickle a lobster out and you get scratched up, stung, burned by who knows what down there. So we're switching it up. We got probably about 12 lobster in the boat now. 30 minus 12 is... Uh, 20, uh, nope, 18. 18? I think 18. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's been a while. <laughs> Bath. All right, we're getting back in. on top to the back my arm my arm needs to be like an inch longer <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're short. What you're doing? Oh, Update for you guys. We are doing pretty good. We're picking them off one by one, a couple here, a couple there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, sixteen lobster. We're gonna go in a little bit shallower so Luke can get his lobster and Jake can get the rest of his. But we're doing 
doing pretty good. My ear is full of water. Of course. <laughs> this video is going viral on TikTok too because somebody stuck their finger in the mouth. Oh no, Gabe and Luke caught a massive puffer fish. A porcupine puffer. Here, put him in on your side over here. Show him up close his eyes. He will bite the end of your finger Ooh, off. I do not want that. Let's get him in here. Look how cool he is. My mom one time got bit by one of these. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Look how cool. Oh gosh. Jeez Louise, look how awesome. I saw him. Get down there and see his mouth real good. He's so cute. Who's cuter, me or him? Oh, that's a tough one. I mean, he's pretty cute. Look at that face. I'm not this pokey, though. I mean... <laughs> I don't fart like that either. I mean... <laughs> Y'all are pretty similar. The blood will be before he dies. No, we're going to turn him loose. Dang, how, I'm going to take the pictures. Him? Don't stick your finger in his mouth. Do I need gloves to hold him? Oh, you won't be able to pick him up. That's I can't so even cool. do it with these good gloves on. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, dang it. Here, you want the net? Here. Um, they got spines so here. Cool. They've got spines like a lionfish, but they don't sting you. Yeah, they are pretty pokey. Hold on, Luke. They don't work in mine? Hold on. Luke, it's going to stick to your finger. I want to take a good little photo of one. I want to know what he looks like in the water. Have I seen one? Uh, he looks like a weird pup. The big eyes. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at his little tail. Wait, let me see his tail. Look, look smile. Look at me and smile. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh. Alright, I guess we should let him go. Look at his well, little tail. I want to see his tail. It's so little. His little fans right here. Dang, if you swallowed him, it would be a bad, bad day. See it, buddy. He'll definitely deflate at some point. You ready? You guys, we got a conveyor belt going. We got Reagan holding the bag with the lobster tail. We got Luke, Lowell, Jake, and myself cleaning our lobster. We're actually packing up and going back home because we need to go back to work. But right now I'm gonna show you how to clean a Florida spiny lobster. Super easy. I thought Luke just threw the tail in for a minute. <clears throat> so I like to break off about a third of their antenna, just like that. Do a good old twist. Now these lobster have been sitting on ice all night. So they are completely dead. Throw the head in the water. There's definitely gonna be some fish chummed up here today. Too bad we're leaving and can't go fishing. You stick the antenna in his little booty hole there, and you, oh, oh, he had to go. I've never had that happen. There we go. So normally that antenna acts like a bunch of barbs, kind of like a fish hook, but there's a ring around the whole antenna and it'll catch on to that vein and pull it right out. With this one, it looks like that lobster had to go, so it didn't hook on all the way, but as you can see, I was able to pull it out. There's your lobster tail. Mm, we got about 30 more to clean, so we're gonna get to it, and then I will see you guys back in Port St. Lucie, Florida, where I'm gonna cook my mom a lobster dinner. You ready for some lobster? Lobster, you say. Lobster, I say. Oh, we got okay. Mama Dukes over here. We got Jazzy Girl. We got my brother's dog, Buddy. Buddy. We got Buddy. Ginger, who's a family dog. I actually got Ginger when I was in sixth grade. She's like 15 now. Where's Finley? Here's crazy Finley. Finley. Oh, gosh. Oh. It's kind of a dog circus over here right now. He's yeah. so big. I know, he's huge. He's so big. And he's Hello! So, Hello! And he's Hello! so low manner. Hello! <laughs> he's a jumper for sure. You got so fat! Wow! 
Why are you choking? I haven't seen him in like a week. I know. <laughs> Gosh, look at him. Oh, Jesus, oh, Bush is in the ground so hard. Oh, all right, Finley, we might have to put you back in the room for a minute. He's a little too excited. Yeah, I got him, I got him. <laughs> Come on. No Come on, Finley. Finley is stuck right now. Who wants a dog drink? All right, we're gonna calm down all the dogs and then we're gonna get to cooking and cleaning these lobster. All right, you guys, so let's get to cooking these lobster. Check out in the gator cooler, check it out. We got six beautiful Florida spiny lobster tails. And I literally just got this cooler today in the mail from Gator Coolers. The really cool thing about this cooler, not only does it hold ice for days, but you can customize the top pad on this cooler to any picture, logo, design, color, anything you want. As you guys can see here, I have my logo on top and uh, my Instagram handle is here. However, I just need to get a new one because I have an underscore on the end of it, but not a big deal. This is the 20 gallon cooler, which holds lobster tails perfectly. So, so the one thing about these lobster tails that we did notice is they have all like just molten. So pulling the meat from the shell might be a little tough because we did eat some lobster in the keys. Let me move this board over. I like to use a wooden cutting board because so it's not as noisy, but we went ahead and rinsed our lobster tail off really good. This lobster is actually a male lobster. He only has one little flipper on each side. I think I have some females in there too. I will show you guys what that looks like. But I just take any type of sharp chopping knife, pretty much any type of knife that's not gonna bend on ya. And it's gonna use a little bit of elbow grease, but you wanna crack this shell in half. Oh. This one must have been about ready to molt because his shell was a lot softer. Butterfly just like this. That was the rice. Oh, this one's perfect. So I pull the meat right out of the shell just like that. And normally I'll just lay this right in the shell and then put it on the grill or in the oven or whichever way you're gonna cook it. That's how it's gonna be prepared. Now I'm gonna go a little bit above and beyond. Finley's watching me right now. Don't you dare jump on this counter. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off all of this skin right here because I feel like it kind of resembles like the bloodline of a fish and it kind of has like a chewy hard texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my time, trim off all this skin on these lobster tails. And when I'm done with that, we're gonna season them and put them in the oven. Lobsters are all said and done. I have some Italian dressing with an avocado oil base to it. It's the most naturalist one I could find. Um, I just have some cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, a little bit of red onion, some salt and pepper, and just made a little cucumber salad. Super easy, healthy, and really good. You can add anything you want to it. This is just kind of the basics that I've added. All right. Hey, buddy. As for our lobster tail, I have some seasoning that is garlic, salt, onion, cayenne pepper, parsley, lemon, and orange peel, which goes excellent on any type of seafood. Normally, I'll use like some Lowry's garlic salt, but you can use whatever seasoning you like. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. I have the oven set to 375. It's a convection oven, so it might cook a little faster, and I'm gonna shoot for around 10, 12 minutes, check on it, and go from there. But you guys will see us at the table on the back porch with my grandma and grandpa and mom and brother. I'll probably post this video on maybe Wednesday. Today is, I don't even know, like Saturday up here. It's our birthday, our 26th birthday on the 29th of August. 
If you didn't know, my brother and I are twins. <laughs> all right, so we tried to corral all the dogs, all the people. I went ahead and gave grandma and grandpa their food first. Mm. How's the lobster? Good? Good. Grandma, have you ever had lobster before? If I have, I don't remember it. Give it a taste. Let me know what you think. Is that it right there? Yes, that's it. Tyler, you are picking in there. Oh, Lord. Probably am destroying it. Tastes like a Cujo lobster. What's that? It is a Cujo lobster. It's where we caught them, Cudjo Key and Florida Keys. Yep, in yes. my mouth. it's a Cudjo lobster. Mm. Well, that's good because Grandma's usually the picky one. All right, Mom, I already know you've eaten lobster a bunch of times. Oh yeah. Hey, let's let's show them a throwback picture of you in the '80s because I just saw this picture on Facebook <laughs> of my mom with a bunch of lobster from mini season in the 80s. Yeah, good times. It's a pretty cool picture actually. How old was I in the 80s? How old were you in the 80s? That's, I don't know. The 80s is pushing 40s. 20, <laughs> the 80s is what, 40 years ago? No, 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 30. Yeah, 40. 40. 80, 90, 2000, 10, Yeah. 20. Good times. Yeah, good times. Pushing 40, 40 years ago. Young, so that was 40 years ago, so you were 70. Oh, stop, Tyler. I was probably younger than you in that picture, babe. Really? Yep. Dang. I mean, I'll I be 26 sold, in a few uh, weeks. A red boat. We used to go to Pex Lake to clean up. Your dad had a commercial license. So we would go to clean up lobsters. So you think, what, you were like 24, 25 in that photo? No. How old? Probably 20, 21 maybe. Really? Yeah. Buddy truck. Sure. <laughs> Tyler wants Buddy to try lobster. Sorry, Finley got locked in the house. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh he gave him energy. He's like, yeah. You want some more? He you wants want some more of that. If you guys can't tell, we're definitely a dog family over here. But right now, this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on the channel. Hit a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And we will see y'all next time. See ya.